On the breakfast, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has raised the interest rates. We'll look at the implication for Nigeria's economy. Also on the breakfast, President Mohamed Buhari wants the National Council on Climate Change to formulate appropriate policies towards achieving green growth and sustainable economic development for Nigeria. We will discuss, we'll also be looking at the front pages of the National Dailies and also uh, having an analyst discourse and share his insight on, uh, you know, the papers this morning. Welcome to The Breakfast in Plus TV Africa. As always, we start off with a top trending conversation, but just before then, I am Messi Ibokbo. Now, on the top trending, uh, first on the list is that you have a choir civil servant who defrauded 23 unemployed church members. I really don't know if she, uh, you know, a member of that church, but according to reports, she defrauded 23 of unemployed church members. Uh, she took funds from them. It's been, I mean, it's alleged purportedly. So, however, it's expected that the law would take its course. You also have the EFCC putting that on their verified Twitter handle and saying uh, Fa Femi has been arrested, you know, for fraud and all of that. But the law would take its course because according to the law, even if you have to confess that you committed a crime or whatever it is, you're going to be tried you know, until being proven guilt, I mean, you have to be proven by a court of competence jurisdiction. But it's really, really saddening because when we talk about corruption and all that's going on, uh, you find out that corruption exactly is not just with those who are at the helm of affairs. I mean, usually when we talk about corruption, we're always quick to say those political appointees, uh, you know, politicians themselves and what have you, are involved in activities that are not. But I think that Nigerians need to purge themselves of all of the corrupt practices. And Nigerians also need to be in the know. We also need to get to a point where people are not gullible. Because you, you, one can tell you to pay money. You're looking for a job. It apparently means that you don't have money. I mean, you're, you're almost... So how can a job seeker be providing money? Because this is going on. It's a scheme that's going on. Uh, you know, in the system. And I'm, I'm just saying that this is one out of so many, and this happened in Kwara Ilorin State. Uh, Ilorin, if you want to say, Kwara State Ilorin. And uh, this is one out of so many. It's going on for a very long time. As we speak right now, there are a lot of persons who have actually fallen prey of uh, this uh, corrupt persons who would actually ask people to pay money. Because I really don't understand. If you are a job seeker, if you don't have a job and you're looking for a job, how do you then have to pay money or you, you have to pay money to get a job when you are jobless? Where do you get the money from? Should you pay money to get a job? But it's a practice that's going on. And so, you know, at the end of the day, as much as we say the governors are very corrupt, but you don't forget the civil servant because we're talking about someone, a civil servant who is of the Ministry of Finance. But it won't be okay to actually throw judgment right here. I mean, media uh, judgment and what have you, or public judgment, will allow the law to take its course. It's been said that uh, it's an allegation until it's been proven. All of the facts need to prove. And of course, the court is right there to put all that together. Moving away, uh, the campaigns have actually started officially. Uh, it made way yesterday. And so, Atiku. Tunubu, Obi, and others have actually started their campaigns. Let's also not forget that, you know, the likes of uh, Peter Obi have not. As of yesterday, the report was that they had not inaugurated the campaign council because consultation was still going around across board. And so uh, Bola Ahmed had postponed it for some certain reason. But of course, Atiku Abubakar seemed to be on top of the issue, and that's what it is. The campaigns have started. The umpire has said that uh, the campaign should be based, should be issue-based, uh, should not be 
based on trivial issues or issues that would actually further divide the country. Alterances, uh, you know, slogans and words from the politicians or those who are campaigning and also the electorate or the supporters. We need to be very careful. We're at a time we're very sensitive. I mean, we need to also understand that, you know, politics is not a do or die affair. At the end of the day, it's a game. It's just like football. Uh, sometimes you're winning and other times you're losing. If your team is, you know, uh, very ready, it meets all the requirements, understanding the requirement of football, ensuring that they're doing all that they need to do, uh, great defense, uh, great attack, and of course you also have to have strikers to win all of that. So I think that the principle of football should also be incorporated you know, to the principle of campaign, just as you have uh, the campaign starting. It's mostly a lot of personal looking out for uh, the presidential candidate. The same principle that uh, it's practiced with football should also be adopted at the end of the day. It therefore means that if you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. You get ready for another time to play the game, okay? Another one on our top trending is that court actually denies Lawan and declares uh, China APC's senatorial candidate. I mean, it's a conversation that we've talked about. When Aina came up with the list, it was very glaring and it was very clear that uh, the Senate president didn't make it. You know, you know, the, you know some persons were canvassing. Akpabi was also on this particular list, but it was different for him because of the different issues. Those who said, oh, we're vying for uh, you know, presidential uh, position. And so they contested the presidential primaries, but of course they didn't make it. And on the other hand, there was something like please cackle that it's not within a political space. It feels like it's, you know, a new terminology or a new term that has been introduced into the system. And really, China is still the senatorial candidate <laughs> at the end of the day, or the APC right there. But let's see how all of this unfolds. We'll take a break now, and when we return, it'll be time for us to go through the front pages of our national dailies. Please stay with us.